So hello and welcome to another video. In this one we are going to create like a sidebar over here where you can see the different kinds of games that you're going to be able to bet on. Uh, in the last video we created the functionality with this model so that you can open this and then at some point we're going to create the login functionality. Um, to start off this video I think we're going to go to the index. We're going to see what we want here. Mm. The sidebar. We say sidebar. Just import it now. We can do that, of course. Create a sidebar. .js. In here you said RFC. React Functional Component. And you save this. You go back here. Then you press Control Space and import it. So now we have our sidebar imported. Uh, I think we want to create a div around these because we're going to divide this in three different sections. So we say class name, grid, grid calls, let's say tree. Go back to create. We want the same background color as we have on the other stuff. So let's go to this one. It's called I think it's must be this one. So I take this color, I go to my sidebar, and I say class name, background this. And as you can see, it only fills third of the page. Maybe we can make it even smaller to make it look even cooler. This one is. Don't need this. We go to nav again. No, not nav. Index. We go here. We say four, maybe. Yeah. Then we have a lot of space for different. St okay. Let's just keep it to three right now because we want to see what we're doing. <laughs> Delete this. And then inside of this, we want to create another div. Um, this div is going to be the one holding the information in which the games are going to be displayed. So we say here games, and then we create a, an object with an array inside, maybe an array first, of course, like this. And then we say, for example, name tennis. Then we just create a lot of these. And then we say football. Baseball, basketball, American, football, table tennis, squash, e-sport, uh, what else? <laughs> Let's just go here, we can say volleyball, running, badminton, golf, and that's fine, I guess. Uh, what we could also do is We could give these also an icon if you wanted to. Let me just check something real quick. Um, but I don't, I don't know if you want this because you guys could just put an icon yourself if you want an icon. I just have to check something real quick. If I can find it. Yeah, I fucked up here. This have to be its own object. So you do it like this. Uh, 
like this and then you open another one and then we close it here so i need to copy these two let's open this one first it's perfect like this so now we have an array with different objects. So for example, this object is tennis. We could also say icon and then find, I don't know if I have a site with icons of tennis of games. Maybe we can look at React icons. Tennis. Okay, it actually have some football. Let's just take these. Okay, but if, if you wanted to place this in here, you could just say react by football and then import it, this one, um, for example, at football. But for now, we're just going to stick with this. We don't need the icons. I don't think that's necessary. So we go inside of here and we say, we make this an object and then we say games.map, make a function. Then inside of here, we say game. We also need an ID, so let's just put an I. Then here we say this, and then we say div. And then here we say game.name. Like this. Games. This should be so like this perfect. So here we have our different kind of games. Now we want to make them actually look pretty good. So inside of this diff, we say class name, and then we say something like gap y four space y4 like this i think yes we also want font to be semi bold and we want text to be white we want the text to be we want some padding let's give it four I think we're going to give this index maybe for our columns anyways. So do we have our games here? And then what we can do with Mantine scroll area, we can make it into a scroll area so that we don't have to actually be aware of if we want to scroll this. So I import scroll area from Mantine. Um, I think I put it here. I haven't used this so much, but it's pretty easy to use. So you can see how now we can scroll in this. Um, we maybe want to do 500 height. And then we want to add some more games. I'm just going to copy some of these because I don't want to write anymore. Um, so what you could also do if if you wanted to for example make this a link you could say href and then say something like tennis uh, we're going to do this later okay, but for now we just needed to be the text so we actually know where we can go with it um, we also want this to be cursor pointer so you can see now our cursor is like is pointing to it we can also do hover, back text gray, 300. Oh, of course, only on, we do this here. So when you hover one of these, you can see it's almost like it's a link right now. 
we can make this bigger we don't need it to be this small perfect 800 it's perfect i think perfect like this so that's pretty much it for this video um in the next one i think we're going to be creating something in the middle here and then in the end over here we want in the middle i think we want the games that you can play on uh, so you can see different different examples of yeah stuff that you can play on so thank you guys for watching uh, see you in the next video i think i'm going to upload already tomorrow so stay tuned